If you're using Google Drive and you want to open a file using Adobe Acrobat, you can do that now without leaving Drive. Uh, right now I'm in Google Drive. And if I right click on this file, the option to open this with Adobe Acrobat isn't here until we install it. So let's left click off of that. And we're going to go up into the upper right hand corner and left click on the nine dots. Scroll down to the bottom and there's an option to look at more from the G Suite Marketplace. So the G Suite Marketplace is full of third party applications that are made to run inside of Drive. And when you search for Acrobat, it's going to bring up Adobe Acrobat. We'll left click on that. And then just brings you to this screen where I'm going to do an individual install. If you're not using G Suite, you might only see uh, one option here, but I'll left click on individual install. And you're going to get some questions because it needs to be able to view these files in order to open them and edit them. So if we click allow to let it view and manage its own configuration data. So just for Acrobat, view and manage drive files and folders that Acrobat has created. So of course it needs to do that as well. And then it will look at some other minor information. We'll allow all three of those. Confirm our choices by scrolling down, left clicking on allow. And now it's telling you that Adobe Acrobat has been installed. So we'll left click on done. We're gonna close our browser down and restart it. Okay, we've just restarted the browser. Everything should be the same, except that when I come down to this PDF file and I right click on it and I go to open with, now I have the choice to open it with Adobe Acrobat. And when I left click on that, it launches Acrobat inside of Drive, so I haven't left my browser. But it's opening up the controls that you're familiar with from Adobe Acrobat, but you're still in the cloud and this file is still saved in Google Drive. Now right away it's wanting you to log into your account that you pay for to give Acrobat more abilities. I have one of those, we'll log into it in a second, but first I'll show you what comes free with it. I left click on OK. And let's come over to the left and you can view all of the pages. You can add bookmarks to them. So this is just something I downloaded off of the IRS website. It already has bookmarks in it. So Acrobat can recognize that. And if you left click on that, you can navigate around the document. The next choice is attachments to the document. Let's go back up and just do the page break preview. And if I left click on it again, it goes away. You'll get the toolbar down at the bottom that helps you navigate through the pages easier. Go to a specific page, zoom in and out, or fit it by width or fit the entire document to the page, or you can download it here. So the other options that you have in this free installation is to leave sticky notes. So if I left click on that and I put a little sticky note in over to the right, you can write something on the sticky note. So uh, let's say, uh, Look into this further and I click post. That will be associated with the file now. And next time I open it, this sticky note will stay there. You can also highlight text. Let's highlight this entire paragraph. You can also add a note to say why you highlighted it. Let's say we want to do that tomorrow. Post that. So you see it's accumulating your comments here. And then you can also use a drawing tool. So I know we're marking the same thing over and over here, but you can also just draw it. You can search within the document. And then if you left click on these three dots, here are some more pretty typical options that you can do. Uh, this isn't anything earth shattering. So let's go back and look at what you get if you pay for it. So let's left click on edit. And I've already signed into my Adobe account. It'll ask you if you haven't and it'll let you do things like organize pages. So what that means is when you left click on that, you come up to this screen where you can move the order around. You can delete pages and you can rotate them from here. If I left click and just select this page and then up at the top, I get the same options. You can also insert another page into the PDF document. Let's cancel out of organize and look at some more of the paid options. You can combine files so you could 
merge different documents, including doc sheets and slides into a single PDF. So when you left click on that, you get the option to add files and you click on that, you can pull something else in from your Google Drive. Let's just, let's select this Google Doc. It takes a while to convert it, it's thinking about it. And there it is, it brought it into our document. You can switch the order of the two, or you can just open this one up and switch the page order of these pages. So you could do the same thing, this 34 page document. And when you scroll down, this Google Doc is the one at the end and you can move those pages around. So before you're done, you need to give it a new file name. Let's call it combined. Let's call it tax prep with notes. Left click on combine and it's going to save the new file into your Google Drive again without ever leave, leaving Google Drive. And there we go. It's telling us that it's been combined and saved. Let's left click on edit again and look, we can export this PDF. So when you go to export it, you can choose different file formats, including Microsoft file formats and some different image formats. Let's cancel out of that. Go back to edit. You can send it for electronic signature and you can also just use this to create a PDF completely from another file. In this next video, we're going to look at all the things that you can do with Google Docs.